November 2020. Weather sucks, like completely. It's just rain and storm and, and crap weather. What's better than to stay inside and uh, unbox stuff? What I got in this box is something so cool and so unique for the limb print scene. And we're gonna open it now. In this little box I have something that is super cool and it was sent to me by Huey Games. When I say Huey Games some of you might know what this is and some of you might not. I'm a bit sorry for you if you haven't seen the Huey Games releases before because this is one of the most unique ways to package collector's editions and limited editions for that matter. Because I think it's pretty freaking badass that there's companies releasing modern games on cassettes. Well, they're sort of like cassettes. So yeah, cassettes or games released on a USB drive that looks like a cassette. I think that is bloody smart because this format of release is so cool and is a definite addition to any collection. That is if you have a PC and play PC games. What we're looking at here is release number 006 from uh, Huey Games. And there's some really cool stuff in this little box. And we're gonna go through this today to see how cool this is. It comes like this, packaged with a plastic wrap, as it would be on a real cassette. This is seriously super cool. To hold this in my hand feels like a throwback to those times when I bought Codemaster games on cassette for the C64. Unfortunately, I forgot the tiny Mura Kniv, so to help me today, I got this one. careful with that one. The releases from Huey Games look exactly and feels exactly as the old cassette releases. Beautiful little box here. The first obvious thing with the with the release is that you have this sort of like OB script. And this is super cool. Just a tiny addition that does so much for the actual release. This is like opening a bag of candy. Fantastic. The difference between releasing PC games and uh, games like Switch, PS4, PS5, etc. is that when you release PC games you don't have any rules to follow. When you release Nintendo games, for instance, you have to follow all the rules regarding the actual box, the outer case, what you can have on the case, etc, etc. You can't break all the rules and send the games in a game case that looks like a cheese or a shoe or something. It would be cool, but Nintendo would probably say no to that. So you have to follow these rules regarding the packaging. But when it comes to PC games, you can do whatever you want, I guess. And that is why this is so cool that someone has done something a bit different. This looks exactly like a cassette you would get Madonna on or uh, Prince or something in the 80s and 90s. Or even today when you buy some indie bands uh, mixtapes or albums on cassette. Hmm? Yeah? Huh? Okay. So yeah, we have a cassette that looks pretty fantastic. And what's beautiful about this is that it's not only the case and the cover that's designed in a specific way, it's even the actual cassette that has got this beautiful print all over, as well as a really nice glossy spot color print here with the name of the game 
if you saw this lying on the table like this, you would easily mistake it for a normal cassette. The difference, however, is that below here you have a small USB drive that you can fold out. So what we have here is a media that looks so cool that you could easily put this in your shelf like this to show it off in your collection and it would look completely awesome. Here is the cassette in all its glory. Beautiful cover art, super cool design. When we open it and take this out, we see that this inlay is actually pretty big and has got some really good looking art on it. The paper this inlay is printed on, it's kind of thick and feels almost a bit like plastic. So the feeling of high quality is definitely there. Next we have a authentication card that tells the story of you buying this ultra USB cassette edition. Very nice. We have a sticker. This is the only thing that I'm not too impressed with. This is printed on uh, kind of flimsy paper. So if you put this on your computer, it will wear off pretty quick. So I would rather have like a vinyl sticker or something that's of better quality. Next, there's a certificate of authenticity. And this is something you would get if you back this on uh, Kickstarter. Since this is not signed, you can see that it's really not certified. But if you back these on Kickstarter, you will get one of these certificates. The last thing is what I've got here in this blue little box. And this is cool. If you are a backer of Hue Games on Kickstarter and back their releases, you will get one of these. And this is great. If you sucked at sports in school and didn't win any prizes, this is your chance to pick up a super cool prize that will look awesome on your gaming shelves. I would say this is glass and it's etched here. I would guess laser etched. And it says Elite Backer of Release 006. It's kind of hefty, this one. Right now they have a Kickstarter for Relic Hunters, which seems to be a pretty cool game. So uh, follow the link below in the description box to check out the Kickstarter of Relic Hunters. Before we go, we have to answer the most obvious question, and that is, does it Play. Let's see if this would play in a normal cassette player. Yeah, slides in there perfectly. No, it does not. It's missing the, the small holes that's needed here in this part to be able to close it. So I hope that answers your question. This doesn't play in a normal cassette player. On the USB memory you first have the game and here it's available both for Windows and Macs. You can install the DRM free versions here. Cool thing with this is that we don't have to install it really. You can run it straight from the USB. So that's very cool.
So yeah, that is the game and it's perfectly playable straight from the USB memory. Then we have this folder with special features. We have this artwork collection where you can go through and look at concept art and art from the game. And this one is probably my favorite, it's called desktop.ini. This is interesting, this is a comic in PDF format. We have demos here. We have demos for Mac and PC of Dark Side Detective Season 1 and Season 2. We have uh, some retro stuff. And this, this is cool if you want to have some, some cool pieces of art to put in your desktop. Here we have a folder for 8-bit Symphony Pro and that's some pretty, pretty cool music actually. We have the soundtrack here, the complete album. And I think including stuff like this, digital stuff, it's fantastic. You have videos such as this dev intro where the developer talks about the game. We also have a, a file called Video Game Music Show. We also have this folder called Ultra Special Features and these are assets and concepts for a game called Mechanus. And uh, here you can find uh, like environment art and concept art and character art. I think this is great that stuff like this is included on the USB memory. So yeah, that's it. On the USB you get the ultra special features, the special features and the game for Mac and PC. That's it for the unboxing of uh, Huey Games Fantastic Spinch Cassette. Be sure to check out their Kickstarter for their upcoming game Relic Hunters. It's on Kickstarter right now, but it closes next Friday. So hurry up if you want to support QA Games and get one of these cool releases yourself. As I stated in the intro, this is one of the coolest ways to package collector's editions. Yeah, check out the link in the description box to their Kickstarter and their webpage. Until next time, stay safe, stay gold, and keep your head down. Thank you.